Hello and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Osayo Mesale and today, Lami and I... <laughs> going solo. We are going solo together. How are you doing, Ami? I'm doing great. I've not seen you since... Ages. Yeah, it feels like ages. <laughs> it feels like ages. How have you I'm been doing? I'm so glad I'm on set today. I wow. just get to go somewhere. Absolutely. How are you coping with lockdown? What's happening? Well, I'm reading. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm really enjoying it. Really? Uh -uh. So have you had any incidents in your area in terms of... Not at know, all. Really? You've not had any? I locked up, completely locked up myself. Today is the first time I'm stepping out of my house since You're kidding last me. Yeah. Wow. So it means you've not run out of um, provisions or no, anything? No, I just did. I just had to re know there was a kind of a soft lockdown prior to the governor, oh, to the president. to the presidency, yes. So I did a beat at that time. So when I heard about the total lockdown, you did more. I did more. And I think I'm going to do more tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you have a press pass, so you'll be able to move around. Because I don't know if the if the if the well, I have a kind of a local market very close to my estate, so mm. I can just walk. Oh, okay. You can actually you can actually pick it up from there. Yeah. All right. So mine is not anything new. We're happy where we are right now. We're excited. Are the kids home? Oh yeah, they've been ah. home for a while. Wow. They've been home for a while. So, mm -hmm. but they asked me today. One of my sons asked me, "Mommy, when are we ever? Are we ever going to leave this house? I said, By Aww. the grace of God." <laughs> my daughter asked me, "Mom, have you lived through a pandemic before?" Wow. Yeah, your daughter in the UK. Yeah, because I was telling her it's going to be fine. Don't worry, we're going to be okay. But she said, "You've never lived through it. So how do you know it's going to be okay?" Well, we're just hopeful. And we're just hopeful what yeah. what else we're just hopeful oh well, can you believe it's easter next week sunday i'm telling you i can't believe it <laughs> i'm telling you and we can't do nothing it's quite interesting interesting times we're living in yeah. all right so um here's what we found as today's quote our security must be threatened in order for us to appreciate it i completely agree with mary for this quote well, I mean? just like the things we used to take for granted now they mean so much. Well, I can't even sit next to you. I'm anymore. telling you. <laughs> Remember there was one we did, I think Mother's Snow, for Women's International. Inter women's yeah, each for equal. We're cramped, cramped here together. And it was okay. No, I'm telling you. You know, in fact, uh, um, uh, for me, our producer had offered to come pick me up in my house. I said, no, for me. The Sweet way I was locked, stress. the way, no, funny enough, the way I was locked inside the house, you know, I had done the isolation for AMVCAs and all of that. I think I started getting that panic attack. Would I be able to drive by myself? I was afraid, you know, I, I mean, and which is a valid fear because you've not stepped out of your house, so you don't even know what is out there. So I was a bit jittery. And I said, no, I have to but overcome this fear drive, quickly. But I couldn't drive down here. <laughs> I know. I made sure they well, it's me gradual. Up. It's gradual. We'll get out of it. But well, I, I needed to come out of that, that fear yeah. so I'll be able to move because you, we, you know, Post-COVID, when they say, okay, it's time you can go out now, a lot of people will be, be scared to step out of their gates. I don't know yeah. what life is going to be after post Well, I hope it's going COVID to be night. a good one. I don't know. Yeah. But I know a whole lot of things are going to change. Yeah, so um, because today we're talking security, which has been a major concern for everyone, especially during this lockdown, and how our security operatives are handling the citizens. And we're even asking what measures they are putting in place to safeguard properties because we're hearing that some people's businesses have been vandalized and homes as well and safeguarding lives as well. So um, we'll do this, but first we'll take a quick break. When we return, we'll see what we found in the news. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. 